Hello everyone. Today on Stuff That Actually Works with Rob Fairfax, I'm talking about one of my favorite topics, wine. Or more accurately, how to get into it. Now you may be thinking, what's the big deal? I can get into a wine bottle with a corkscrew, there's even one on my, on my pocket knife. And that's mostly true, but this series is about adulting, and anyone with that attitude, it may have served you well in college, but you're eventually going to accumulate stories of broken corks, broken bottles, splashes of wine on clothing, and of course crumbled corks in the wine. And it takes way longer than it needs to and can even take some real muscle. So they have these spiral openers with these two arms and that's a step in the right direction, but it still has some of the risks of breaking corks and it takes a longer time to twist and then you have to take the cork back off of the, off the corkscrew. None of that's what you want to be fussing with during a dinner party or an entertaining. And even if you buy cheap wine now, you may someday up your game and have wine that you don't want to spoil. And I also used to work in a restaurant myself back in the day in a bar, and we used to use this type of opener. And this one takes uh, definitely takes some some skill as well. It takes like, a few uh, ratchets back and forth, get twisted in a little further, and, and work it a bit. But at the time, we were working for tips and a little effort that could actually pay off. So that's not a great guide either. So what actually works? Well, we're going to look at um, the product that served me well for many years, the uh, Le Creuset Scrupel Lever Style Wine Opener. So let me show you how that works. Now, the first thing to show you is that this set comes with a foil cutter to remove the foil much more gracefully than the blade on the opener I was showing you a moment ago. And I didn't even mention the chance of slicing your thumb during that maneuver. With this, you just twist it around a few times, it comes right off, no skin anywhere near anything sharp. Now in the main device, you open the lever all the way, which retracts the spiral. You grab the arms and squeeze them around the neck. You close the top lever, pop it back open, and the bottle's open. That's all it takes. It's that simple. And then to look at that maneuver, you just reverse the action, pulls the cork right off the corkscrew, and you're done. It took seconds. And as far as durability, as I enjoy my glass of wine here, I'll, you can see from the beat up box that I've had this thing for at least, at least 15 years, and nothing's worn out except the cardboard box. And from the number of times I've used it, that's pretty impressive. It even comes with a spare corkscrew, but according to the company, each corkscrew will last 2,000 uses, and from what I can tell, I believe it. So let's look at where you can find a product like this. So here's the model I have, the Le Creuset version, and $92 seems like a lot. As I showed, this will last your whole life. Um, it's great as a wedding present, something that uh, shows quality. It, is, it should be useful for someone at that stage in their life who may not have such a device. Um, however, I found a, another version that is significantly cheaper, and it looks the same. It functions the same, even has the same parts included. So if you're at all on a budget, I would probably check out one of these cheaper competitors. I uh, can't vouch for the quality though. So it's a little bit of a gamble. So again, if you're, if you want something nice for a wedding present, I would go with the Le Creuset version. If you are looking for something a little cheaper that gets the job done, uh, go for various other ones like this one here on Amazon for $26. So that's gonna wrap us up for today. Can you please do me a favor and click the like button below, as well as subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments. If you really enjoyed it, even share it with your friends. Hopefully this has been a valuable service to you. Mm -hmm.